On this episode of NSFW, we're joined by sound designer extraordinaire Rob Kreckle. He's worked on a bunch of video games you've played, so shut up. We play Name That Game. It's a game where we name games. Also, we create a sound effect, some of which are really filthy. You're going to want to hear them. It's NSFW, starting right now. Seriously, now. Now. Start it. Now. Stop it. Now. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 116, recorded on February 29th, 2012. The Terry Piles. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, and TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Billy Mays here breaking your back, pounding, super strong, super, super strong. Now that's the strength of Billy Mays guarantee. Super strong, super, super strong. With the flick of a switch. But it gets even better. So stop getting out of bed every night. Just pee in the closet with confidence. Just pee in the closet. It's that easy. And we'll send you the world's most powerful weed. And we'll send you the weed with lightning speed. Just select a bit, then lock and load. Pull the trigger, then lock and load. So you'll never have trouble claiming what's yours. Now that's the strength of Billy Mays Guarantee. Do you have a drawer full of keys? Take them with you when you go hunting or fishing. And with every order, we'll also include 20 ounces of liquid. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And just like that, that means it is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Rushwood, joined as always by the inimitable Hulk, oh, Hulk host, the Hulk host, Justin Robert Rubles III. What is going on, Professor J.R.Y.? Holy crap in an old woman's pants, boy. <laughs> Tonight's no, like, going to be an amazing show. That's uh, Mother, Mother Teresa's pants is what you're talking about. Holy crap in an old she, woman's uh, pants. Yes. I hope she she actually didn't wear underwear and she only wore skirts. So she just crap <laughs> right on the floor. <laughs> she, like was, uh, she was not she house trained. Leave, you heard it here first. She leave piles around and they call them Terry piles. And you're like, is someone going to shovel the Terry piles? It was difficult, especially when it came to like you know tend to the wounds of the sick uh, and disabled. <laughs> like, well, well, Terry no, she would always she'd get very shocked and surprised. She'd be like, be like, wow, what happened to that dude? That dude's leg? I just left the Terry pile back there. That's crazy. I'm Mother <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> crazy, you're in Calcutta. I'm saving people because God told me to. Oops, Terry pile. She's like, <laughs> she's like that chick comfortable hanging out with all the frat boys. You know, she's belching really loud. Oh, and yeah. She's leaving. like breaking balls. Like, oh, like maybe the time that you had a. Uh... Oh, God, I can't make any <laughs> All right. Yeah. So anyway, this is a, that's how good this show is. Everything <laughs> Mother Teresa will get excited about is how good this show is going to be. And thank gosh darn that we have a guest. It's up to the task. Folks, if you've listened to video games, unless you're some sort of psychopath, who buys video games and turns off the sound, then there is a good chance that you've heard the work of our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, from uh, Sony Entertainment, Naughty Dog, he's worked on a billion amazing projects. Rob Kreckle. Huzzah! Huzzah! Look at Oh, he leans forward. <laughs> leans forward to do his handsome man impression. Uh, how you doing, Rob? I'm doing great. Thanks this, for having me, guys. This is a special occasion because normally we just consider anyone who would bother to be on this show is, uh, 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 I don't know, actively hates us. Like, holds us in contempt and thinks we're literally the worst thing on the internet. Uh, but you you said you, you shocked us with a, uh, a jaw-dropping announcement that you actually have watched in SFW for a number of years. For a number of years, yeah. Scam School, Weird Things TV, when you were doing that, Justin, I've been, I, I'm all over it, man. Dude, this oh, is wow. phenomenal. That's amazing. So you saw uh, you saw his uh, rapture rap. I did. Well, uh, thank uh, God. Along with Somebody Boodle Deedle Doo and uh, pretty much everything word else. Out on that. Well, that's amazing. Rob, uh, we're so excited to have you on. And I'll tell you what, folks. We're going to do two games. 
or actually, no, one game and then an exercise later in the show. Here's what's going to happen later. Uh, Rob is, of course, a sound designer for uh, amazing. Rob, do, do the real quick list. I know Uncharted 3 is probably the most recent AAA Uncharted title. Uncharted 3 what is you uh, one of the bigger ones. Uh, I just worked on Twisted Metal. Um, I'm working on Starhawk. But before that, Def Jam Icon, Free Realms, Clone Wars Adventures. Uh, and that's pretty much a short list of games. <laughs> Of games that you've worked on. You've also done movies and stuff like that, but you are an A-plus sound designer. Now, now really, you know, I, 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 forgive me for, for butting in here, but, but what does is, what is sound designing mean? Are we talking about, like, like you do Foley work, you go get meat, and you just pound it with the with your fist and be like, yeah, that's a punch right there, or what? That's that's old school, man. No, no, I throw wet paper towels against walls for punch sounds. That's what I do. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. This is so you actually do like 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 hands on foley work. You do stuff to 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 uh, walk us through this. I'm fascinated by that. Well, here I'll tell you, what, Brian. Uh, we're actually going to foley our own sound effects that we will get from what? you, the audience, that's later right. in the show. So do me a favor right now. Go ahead and at reply me at Justin R Young on Twitter if you're watching live with sound effects that you would like uh, us to. Uh, oh, look, you can see how much I lost weight. Um, you can. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, give us sound effects that you would like to hear, and we're going to foley the best of them at uh, later in the show. But our first bit is going to be a little thing we like to call Name That Game. Okay, now this is something that you have totally prepared in advance for us. If you've ever seen, uh, we're going to say this game bears a striking resemblance to Name That Tune, but we will deny it under, uh, under oath. Uh, and so how, how do we play what this was, game? What was that game you said that it reminds us Name of? That Tune. I've never Name. heard of this game before. I don't know. Name 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 that tune. No. Name no. I okay. Tune Town was it Tiny Tunes? No. Is no. that the one with uh, Babs and uh, Buster Bunny? Well, yeah. I mean, that was Tiny Tunes, but that's not. That way, but that's what we're talking about because that has nothing to do with Tiny Tunes. Just want to let you know. No, no. Name that tune. It was like on in the eighties. Name who? When... Who's? Is that a Korean guy? Name who? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's name who? <laughs> who name who? Is that what you're saying? Who name who? Is that the Korean president? No, you said name name that too. Name that too. It was a name, famous. Now, well, I mean, I don't want to cast any aspersions about name who, but you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna call him a right. tune. Fine. Who knows what that means in his crazy language? Fine. Nobody's heard of name that tune. Go ahead. Anyway, All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give the year of release and genre of a video game, and I will let them know how many seconds there are in the gameplay clip. Brian and Rob will each bid against each other to see how short of a time it will take them to identify see, this the game. Is, this, is, this is the exact way that Name That Tune ended. This is, this was I'll the tell you end. what, if you want to keep mouthing off, I'm going to think you've been hanging out with Name Who a little too long. <laughs> okay. okay. That Name Who is just, he's a, he's a real shady character, getting in everybody's business all the time. I just got something from my lawyer, uh, Iris Sockman, that says, please refrain from comparing going to the game you're going to play with what is an established brand. Just the game with the likeness is already bad enough. I'm just saying, like my old friend name who used to say in his very specific dialect. All right, there. You guys should just play the game, don't you think? Okay. Uh, all right. So here we go. The first game that is on our list. Rob, are you are you uh, you're clear on the rules? So you're going to get first pick yep. here. I'm going to give you the uh, the year of release and the and the genre from whence it came. All right, go for it, Justin. Oh, wait, All that's right. so the wrong music. I wanted this. There that we go. That is the wrong music. Okay. Go for it. Uh, it is, the year is 1987, and it is a action side-scroller. Do, do we get to say what platform, do we get to know what platform it was on? No. No. <laughs> okay. I, good. I didn't want to know. And the clip lasts for 20. 18 seconds. Okay. Rob, how long will it take you to name that game? I'm going to start off conservative, and I'm going to say nine seconds. Okay. Brian, can you name that game faster than Rob's brain can handle? Four seconds. Wow. Ooh. Gamesmanship. Brian Brushwood throws his balls on the table and says four <laughs> seconds. He says, I'm, I, the only seconds I need are the inches I have below my belt. That's, that's good. Actually, not even. That's more. That's 
<laughs> Below my belt. That's how much I need. Rob, can you name it in less than four seconds? Now remember, if Brian can't if get I it fail, before, if I you fail. have a chance to steal. Yeah. So let's let Brian, let's let him go Ooh, for it. So, so say, say, name that game. Brian name Brushwood. that game. All right. Here we go. 1987 action side scroller. You have four seconds. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mega Man. Brian Brushwood. Show me Mega Man. You lose. Ah, no. All right, Rob, Rob. Here's the entire clip. I got it. Got it? Uh, Rob? Didn't even Again, we are looking for a 1987 action side scroller. Contra. Rob Crackle for Contra. It's a yes from the ah, boo! <laughs> Did you did you really know that instantly? I, I did, yeah. yeah. Even in the garbled sort of sound, I, I those sounds are burned into my brain. Wow. All right. Oh. Wow. That's they're very impressed in the chat room. Already one for Rob. Now, Brian, uh, you, you went a little aggressive on that one. Uh, are you maybe ruining your your initial uh, your fervor, your vim, your vigor? Did you get your Irish up a little too much? <laughs> your dander in a twist? I am. I'm I'm ruining my dander in a twist, which is my favorite musical on Broadway. It's blue dander all over your <laughs> dander table. in a twist. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I'm ruining my dander in a twist. No, that's the second. That's the reprise. The that's first right. one is like is like, hey everybody, guess what I'm doing? It's my dander. <laughs> your dander in a what? Dander in a twist? Yeah. And then like they slow it down in the reprise because. He- I'm ruining my dander in a twist. <laughs> okay. No, then it's the, it's the same melody, but you slow it down. So it's like, it's like, my dander <laughs> in a twist. Anyway, uh, 1992 <laughs> is the year that this racing game. <laughs> oh, this is a racist Brian. game. This is a game for racists. People who are good at uh, racing. For great, the amazing racist. <laughs> the amazing, the amazing why, racist. How come nobody has made that reality show? Well, why? Made, why? Like, why? How come on A and E there's not like a like a documentary on David Duke called The Amazing the Racist or something? That just sounds like the the title to Night Attack Two: The no, Amazing Racist. No. Stop <laughs> saying that. We don't want to be associated with that. No, at least not. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how many seconds? Oh, here, let me tell you how many there are in the clip. This clip contains 33 seconds. Wow. I'm going to say, uh, what, what, do I get a genre? <laughs> racing. Oh, racing, 1992. This was a 1992 racing game. 12 seconds. 12 seconds, Rob Crackle. Can you go shorter than 12 seconds, or do you again want to leave Brian squirming on the hook? I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to say, again, nine seconds. Nine seconds, Brian. You before got a little gully, and you were laid prone on the ground, weeping and crying, metaphorically. Nine seconds or less. How many? Four. Four. You're going four seconds yet again. Four is the magic Folks. number. I always win when I pick four. And it's it's already been fairly magical. Now, by what? the way, I just want to let everybody know, thank you for all of your uh, your your at replies for our second bit. They are already coming in hot and heavy, and we have a bunch of really good ones, like the sound of a terry pile hitting the floor. Um, <laughs> the sound of someone punching the fry. hole. But you want to know what? That's not what we're focusing on right now. Brian Brushwood is again... Uh, really got his dander in a twist. And, <laughs> My uh, dander's in a twist. Four seconds for <laughs> oh, this, the 1992 golly. racing game. Are you ready, Brian? Dander's in a twist. Wait, hold on. Rob Rob gets to keep bidding. Oh, Rob, less than four? Uh, oh, no, I'm going to let you fall on your face again, Brian. Mm. All right. Well, you have to say it. Name that game. You ready, Brian? Yeah. I was ready yesterday. My dander's in a twist. 
Oh, That's golly, it. my dander's in a twist. Racing game. Pure folly, my dander's in a twist. Who knew? <laughs> Super Mario. It's Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Mario Kart! Yeah! <laughs> Eat that nerd, Rob Crackle! Rub it all over your handsome ass face! My dad is in a twist and I'm rubbing it all up and down your butt face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, what else you got? Here we go. 2001, a first-person shooter was released, and that is where we got the audio for this clip. I will say this one's a little spare, so you might want what, to what, go what, with a What year is it again? Bit. What year? 2001. Hmm. 2001, first-person shooter. First-person shooter? First-person shooter. Hmm. Our clip is 33 seconds long. Rob, you get first dibs. Let's cut that in half and start at 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Brian Brush, you want one, two, three, four. 14 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Big move by Brian Brush. <laughs> cut it down by one second. Back in your court, Rob. When can you do this? And is it shorter than 14 seconds? What? Two? Three? 13 seconds. <laughs> 13 seconds. <laughs> Folks, we're inching by inching. Here we go. Power Rob, move. Can you really do it like a dirty pedophile and go lower than 13? <laughs> Six seconds, sucker. Eat that. Six seconds. Brian, big move. Rob, it's not his normal four, but <laughs> it certainly is less than 13. Can you do it less than six seconds? It's all yours, Brian. Really? Six seconds? All right. Six seconds. Shooter from 2001. Hit me up. Yep. Oh, wait. You got to say it. You got to say it. Or I could just Name play this. that game. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Six seconds, shooter from 2001. I did warn you guys, this is spare. Here we go. That's not six seconds. Counting them off. Can you play, play it again? Play it again. I think that is... One more time, one more time. I want to say that's Call of Duty 1. I think that's Call of Duty 1. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure, but that's going to be my guess. Call of Duty 1. Call of Duty 1 is... Oh my god! I never win at anything. How did I do this? This was amazing. Yes. And uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, and to be honest, I didn't even play that much Call of Duty. I played the hell out of Call of Duty Two though, and it sounded very Listen, similar. You got it. Don't brag. All right. Sorry. Sorry. All oh right. Oh my god. That's, that's, and I don't even play it. I don't even know what Call of Duty is. I've never handled a gun right. in my okay. life. All right. My dad is in a twist. Oh golly, <laughs> dad is in a twist. <laughs> Oh, Molly, you put oh, my dander in a twist. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. The music always have like the other person because they have to acknowledge other people are on stage. So they'll just yell something in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody in the chat is accusing me of reading the chat. I pinky swear. You know, I take pinky swear seriously. I pinky swear. I did not look at the chat on that one. Yes. I know Brian takes it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I got mad. All right, go ahead. I make the joke that I wanted to make. All right. Uh, this one again, they are getting increasingly harder. This one is the hardest of the bunch. Increasingly it tumescent. Is, uh, a 1998 RTS. 1998? Real-time strategy game? Yep. Hmm. What are there, like three to choose from? Well, this is what it is. A 1998 real-time strategy game. Rob, uh, who's you take it first, sir? Yeah, Rob is is getting a first bid here. It is this one is longer. It's forty two seconds, and I think you guys might need a bunch of it because really? this one is far more spare than the other one. Really? Yeah. Real time strategy is not my genre, man. So uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's start with 
20 seconds. I'll go 15. 12. Name that real-time strategy game, Rob Kreckle. All right. Rob, this is the first time that you're going to be put to the test to tie the game. Otherwise, Brian wins because we only have five clips. Here we go. 12 seconds for the 1998 real-time strategy game. That's, that's, yeah. That is 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it, Rob. What do you got? I'm going to take a stab. It is a Command and Conquer. And what was the date again, Justin? 1998. Uh, Red Alert, I think. Command and Conquer, Red Alert. Rob Kreckle, that is you lose. What is wrong with your face? I'm ready for this. No points. <laughs> and may God have mercy on you. I soul. know this one. I know. The, can I go do this deal? Uh, Brian, do you need to hear the clip? No, or I can do you not. Steal it right away. I'll steal Brian it right away. Bushwood, for this the is... win. This is a 1998 real time strategy game. What is it, Brian? That's Microsoft's Close Combat. What is wrong with no! Wait, is it... It was Army Man, wasn't it? You lose the point that you had on Rob, and we now move into the final round time. What was it? What was it? In fact, Army Man. Oh, crap. Wow. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Those both came out in 1998. You got to realize, in 1998, my full-time job was testing video games for Rockwell Semiconductors, and they, would, they, they kept coming out with new revisions of their sound card, and my job was to test compatibility with whatever the top 400 games were at the time. So I'd put it in and play it like uh, you know for, for 10 minutes each. Damn it, I can't believe I missed that. God, you were really excited, too. I was! Well, because, because I knew you were all ready to call it to your this own. Episode, go <laughs> online and watch the video version of exactly how excited Brian was that he was going to win the game. I totally and thought I was. Hit, he hit the wall like I a did. mosquito on the highway. I My dander was in a twist. Oh, jury, my dander's in a twist. <laughs> Who hey, you knew it? Stop stealing that paper! Uh, okay, here we go. The final round. All right. Brian lost a point. It now remains... Uh, actually, no, it remains... 1-1? One, one. No. Oh, I lost a point. Okay. Lost All right, got point. It. All right, good. Because you tried to steal. All right. And you failed. Could I have just go. not said anything and then and then been the winner? You, you could have. Your arrogance was your downfall. My the dander was in a twist. 84 shooter is our final clue. This game has 33 seconds of audio in the clip. And I'll tell you what, it is my opinion. Someone can get way aggressive on this one. 1984 shooter. Yep. Rob, you want to take it first? You know, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I was born in 1984. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> age is an advantage. <laughs> uh, how long is the clip, Justin? 33 seconds. Oh. All right, uh, let's let's go. Fifteen seconds, Brian. Justin, you specifically said that we could be aggressive on this one, and you wouldn't say that if it wouldn't be instantly obvious. So I'm going to say two seconds. Specifically, I'm picking two so that Rob can. I'm giving you just enough rope to hang yourself with, Rob. You name that Rob? game, sir. <laughs> wow. All right, give me two seconds for the 1984 shooter. 1984 shooter. This is your clue. Really? Two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, I'm going to, I mean, 1984, the only console, I'm assuming this is a console, so it's not, it's not going to be Atari. It's not going to be ColecoVision. It's, uh, and, and the fact that you said you could be aggressive means it's got to be something that is, that everybody ought to know, and the only console I can think of is 1984, 
is the Nintendo Entertainment System. So I'm going to say this has to be Duck Hunt because it was the original shooter. Am I right? Brian Brushwood, your choice of Duck Hunt is... Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, so much tension. Wow. That was great. That was fun. Congratulations, here we go. sir. This is the whole clip here. Boy, I do not remember the sound being so crappy on that game. That was the dog. That was a dog barking in before he jumps in the bush. Man, that's I knew. Ah. Man, that dog yeah. always barks before it jumps in the bush. That's right. Yeah. Dog. Hell yeah. Why must the dog? <laughs> Man, dog will hunt. And no. Why must the dog laugh at me when I don't shoot those ducks? <laughs> when I don't shoot those ducks. Because <laughs> my dad is in a twist. <laughs> and the reprise, the medley at the end. Yes, it's the mega mix at the end of the, the musical. <laughs> yeah, about wow. I'll tell you what, uh, you know this show doesn't happen uh, for last. You're right, it doesn't happen. The show never happens. If you thought the show ever happened, it was a figment of your imagination. It was a twist at the end of the movie. By the way, you're dead. No, Brian, this is a crude money making venture, uh, and uh, it's it's paid for. We are bought and paid for sheeple by our overlords at netflix okay you want to know what netflix is yes i got a goddamn couple things to say about it streams thousands of tv episodes movies directly to you instantly so you want to know what else it does it saves you time money and hassle Hmm. who needs who needs those are you sick of hassle we I'd all like have to, enough hassles in our life. I'd like to save my Getting hassle. all up in our face. I like, to, like, hey, look at me. I'm a hassle. Oh, what? you want to lick me, don't you? <laughs> I'm a big hassle. You want to just get me out of the way. Just lick it down. <laughs> well, the you know, thing about hassle is like everybody's got one. Everyone's got one hassle, right? And it's yeah, <laughs> such a problem. You just be like, man, my boss is a real hassle. <laughs> It's such a hassle. And what I want is uh, I want something to save me time, money, and hassles. Yeah. Time and money are easy. Netflix, listen, they can do, they've been doing time and money all, all for decades now. <sighs> Man, what a, what a dirty chore hassles are, you know? Because it's like, I think, oh, this damn dirty hassle. I know. <laughs> just... You're just like, you're like, where, when will my life stop being an endless parade of hassles? Yes. I'm surrounded by hassles everywhere I look. We got <laughs> hassles coming up, trying to screw it up I everything. I constantly have to uh, just be covered in the byproduct of hassles. You know what? I heard a rumor once that hot dogs were actually made of hassles. <laughs> big, big hassles. There are several easy ways to instantly access streaming movies and TV shows with Netflix. You can watch Netflix movies and TV shows on your Mac or PC and iPad. Listen, you're going to love the iPad app. If you Because like, every once in a while, you're like, I want to watch a movie. What a hassle this iPad is that it won't let me see the movie. Don't even worry about it. Download it. <laughs> right there on the iPad app, you're going to be able to watch it. You can watch it on your iPhone. Some Android phones, too. But not all Android phones. Yet another hassle we have to do. <laughs> If you're on a gaming console on Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii, you can watch your Netflix, boom, right on your TV. It's so, it's so easy. If you're not a gamer, you can watch Netflix on your Apple TV, your Roku box. They're inexpensive and easy to use, okay? I've never, I own an Apple TV. I watch Netflix on it all the time. I'm never, I've never said, I'm sick of the hassle that installed this. Because <laughs> it's so easy. Watching you know Netflix, what is? You know what isn't a hassle, uh, Justin? Watching what? Netflix on the Vita. I don't know if you guys know that you can watch Holy it on cow. the Vita now too. Yeah, boom! It's pretty awesome, right there. That's no hassle. New PS Vita. No hassle. It's great. No. <laughs> Listen, there's not a hassle in that transaction. You you're clear of hassles. Uh, it's a clean slate in in the hassle department. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cleanest hassle you'll ever ever deal with. All right, but here's here's the thing. A lot of you people. For the seven people who are listening to this who don't have Netflix, uh, you you're like I don't have money, man. I like this this you telling me about this. I want it. 
I want it bad, man. And you, me listening to this is a hassle. You're a hassle. You're a filthy hassle, Jerry. You want to know what? Shut your mouth. Netflix.com slash twit. 30 days free. Be sure to use that URL before you sign up because you're going to get a whole month, baby. You're going to be able to watch this stuff hassle-free. Unless you're into hassles. A lot of people are. Otherwise, listen, you can have hassle too. They're not saying that you can't have it. They're saying that they can get it out. You know, you can get it out of your life if you want it out. Netflix.com slash twit. 30 days free. Netflix, it'll change your life and bring you to Jesus. It's, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, so what? Uh, we, we got time for another thing? He says 30 minutes into the program. <laughs> yes, we do, Brian. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have time for another thing. <laughs> are you doing? Are you doing your uh, your Pulp Fiction impression? No. Although, man, that was a better Netflix read than the one we just did. Remember, when we did all the quotes. Oh my god! That Everybody, was so go good. go watch that Netflix read because that was maybe the funniest Netflix read. We did. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. Uh, so, since the beginning of the show, we've had people send in uh, all of our or their suggestions for a, something a sound effect that we can <laughs> foley right here under the amazing tutelage of our guest Rob Kreckle. Um, so I'm just going to read a few of these here. Skittles hitting a person's back. <laughs> uh, turning the page in a book, <laughs> which I mean, seems like a fairly easy one. Now, did, did, uh, re real quick, Rob, do, like, do they do they break down? Do they say like every single sound effect they need in the game? And, and are they that specific? Like, by the way, we need a page turning in a book. I, I wish it was that specific or well organized. No, <laughs> often it's, uh, hey, play the game and... There's no sound, so figure it out. All right. So you have to play the game like it's the artist and just yeah. and just silently watch it and be like, well, I guess that would be a gunshot. Did you ever, did you ever like, just want to make the thing sound, like, really stupid and crazy? Like, every time the gunshot, it would be a quack? Like fart noises? Yeah. Yes. That would be my preference would be every gunshot's a fart noise. Man. I'll tell you <laughs> what, funny gunk. you said that. Donk Congo suggests that we foley a shart. Oh, my God. Really? You then explains shart. Which I won't. All you got to do is get a mouthful of oatmeal and do the animal house. Go like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have someone falling off an edge and breaking their leg. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Can we do that one? Uh, a narwhal fighting a shark. Let's do that one too. So this is kind of like what your job is, right? Because we're just we're just naming you things, and you're like, how the hell will I make this sound like a thing? Like a thing. Mm. Um, Narwhals. <laughs> we have a robot falling in love with a superior being. Balls <laughs> hitting the table. So the, t t t take us through real quick, Rob. How do you actually do your sound effects? Because that'll be good. Because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, an idiot. I don't know nothing. And I need, a, I need a starting point here. Well, you know, it's a combination of things. Uh, if we can, we'd love to record, like, the thing that it is. So Skittles <laughs> hitting somebody's back. We need to record that. We'd get some Skittles. Get someone's shirt off. <laughs> Get an intern to bend over, boom. There you go. Boom. You just Done. throw it on the back. Uh, like, do you, do you find yourself, like, do you go to, like, uh, shooting ranges and fire different weapons? for? Cause I got to imagine there's a ton of weapons fire. Uh, I, I wish. Um, that's, like, an extremely expensive recording session. I've never gotten to go on one myself, what? unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but that's not to say I don't have libraries of such things that have happened in the past and then i utilize those sounds that have been recorded at uh, sessions like that to build gunshots and, and what have you hmm. uh here we go a few uh, suggestions the sound that brian makes as he hangs his head after realizing he said something that he is never going to be able to take back and will regret forever <laughs> that's a suggestion the sound of a helicopter made of stakes coming in for a landing next to a pride of lions in an African <laughs> desert, or the sound of uh, the monkey stealing a television, which I think with the death of Davy Jones is fairly inappropriate. <laughs> the sound of a race riot from a uh, real horse boy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Rob, what would you say is the most challenging Foley work that you've had to do? The most challenging Foley work? Hmm. You know, honestly, like making a punch is much more challenging than you'd think. Really? Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, how would you go about making a punch? Because making a punch, like doing that is, that's what a real punch sounds like, right? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Little did you well, know from belt. my appearance uh, on Game ahead, Monday, So yes, no, it is sailor. pretty flots boring. Um, <laughs> it's pretty. But, but I guess uh, that, that's the problem. Boring. Is what you're what you're making is not the accurate sound of a punch. You are trying to live up to the audience's <laughs> unknowing expectations of punch sound effects that they've heard on film and television for decades, right? Correct. And that's the hard part. And so we have to get super creative with that. So, like, I, I wasn't kidding. I have recorded wet paper towels thrown against walls and floors uh, for punches before. It actually sounds really cool. Uh, layer that in with uh, explosions or howitzers. Can you uh, can you ship that to me, Brian? Or, yeah, no, or, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you the belt. I'm very for excited. The audio for listeners, he's holding that. up the belt right there now. A taunting Rob who has uh, <laughs> taken the prize. Oh, my God. Uh, so, so, so is there a case... What are what are the cases where getting the actual sound is better than doing things to fake the essence of what the sound is? Because obviously you guys probably don't just punch a bunch of interns. You probably figure out a way to make it greasier than that. Yeah, the thing uh, – wait, what was the question again? Just repeat that. Uh, when I, I when is it actually better interns. to record – because I assume more often than not, it's better to, uh, to, to uh, sort of – I don't want to say falsify, but sort of, you know, punch up the uh, the sounds that go into stuff. Like uh, if you're going to do a punch, you don't actually want to record the sound of punching someone because that's going to be boring when it actually right. comes out. So instead, what you want to do is you want to, you know, you find a way to put squishiness in there. Like you were saying, wet paper towels, that kind of thing. When is it better to get the actual sound for those things? Uh, if you're trying to do something literal or, or uh, realistic, often you'll go for exactly what it is. Um, for for the traditional definition of foley, like in a film, it's it's all the hard effects. So like if somebody is handling a pen in their hand, you know, you'd record that if it's a, like some kind of an important sound or um, they're moving a mouse or typing on a keyboard or whatever it is. Like you'd actually go in and record that stuff if it wasn't clean. Um, just because it's easier uh, than trying to manufacture. It doesn't need to be bigger than life. It just needs to sound like it is. All right. I think we have a good one to do. The H recommends that we uh, do the sound of Brian Brushwood being felt up by the TSA. Because Brian, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Brian has a fetish where he really gets off on strangers grabbing his dog. <laughs> okay. So you're just when he that. goes to the airport, he finds this is a very... Uh, a very fun way that he can indulge himself. It's kind of like a trip to the candy <laughs> that's not, store. That's not it. That's and not. He just says, "Hey, gentlemen, uh, grab my junk real hard." Okay, well, uh, I might be a terrorist. Oh, look at me! I'm a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look I'm how long my beard, beard is. My, junk. my dander's check. in a twist, and I may do something <laughs> dangerous. Look at my beard. I mean, I'm vaguely Middle Eastern. No, uh, but it, it is. It is true, uh, Brian. You, you, uh, you always do opt out. Of the of the the scanning, yep. and you get the manual uh, for check, right? I, I get the manual. Uh, I get manual manualed. Is, the freshness uh, squeeze, happened. as yes. we like to call it. The- uh, so so that I think we could, if you were Rob, going to try and simulate the sound of somebody uh, reaching up and grabbing Brian, and then Brian, maybe you have a little a little sound, a little uh, a little yes. sound. Yes, it's it's, that, called, it's me reciting the Fourth happening. Amendment repeatedly, like a litany. Like I'm in D- the movie Dune, recite, reciting "Fear is the Mind Killer." I'm like, uh, Congress shall pass no law. <laughs> people, shall, in order for people to be secure, their their uh, effects papers. See, I don't even know what the Fourth Amendment. This is I'm such a liar and a fake. Um, uh, well, yeah, no, no, well, save save what you will say. Uh, uh, but but Rob, if, if you were trying to simulate, so I guess a a a TSA check is probably rubber on jeans. Would that be fair? That'd be fair. Yeah, sure. Latex. Latex. So so something like that. I actually have a pair of jeans right here. Uh, I don't know if I have a rubber glove, but what would be a good rubber <laughs> glove substitute? Or maybe I can just run. Just my hand over jeans would that would that yeah, work? Your your hand would probably be a good facsimile. Uh, if you All have right. so, anything made out of rubber, it would do for that t- kind of texture. Maybe I'm, I see that's that's a dangerous. You don't tell just Robert Young get whatever he has of rubber and bring it on hey. camera. See now that's that's like, like I can't I can't cut over to his spot or else we're totally hosed. This. <laughs> he what about a TARDIS? Would a TARDIS work? Definitely grab a TARDIS it. would work perfectly. You definitely grabbed. Here, get closer, get closer. You're going to have to up the... You might want to remove that pop screen. I'm going to turn up your volume here so we can get this. All right, here we go. So wait, uh, let's just make sure we get the sound right first. Sure. 
Well, you, you want to slow down, Justin, because you want to simulate the, okay. the slow nature that these people uh, operate in. And you're going to want right. to start slowly. Should should the TSA agent a have a line? Should I mean like Brian, if you, when you're getting felt up by the TSA, do they normally say something? Actually, they do. They always they're always nonchalantly like, uh, "So, uh, why did you opt out?" Like, uh, you know, like they're just just making conversation. Just, <laughs> so, uh, why are my hands down your pants, bro? You got a problem? What's going on? <laughs> Maybe they've just found a lump. <laughs> they're very clinical. Uh, all right, so so maybe a, a nonchalant like, so uh, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Maybe something like that. Yes. All right, go. And then I think that you maybe now, Rob. If I were to take a guess, like I think that maybe there should be some like there'll be like a slow thing, and then maybe like a quick thing, and then Brian like and then gasps maybe, maybe or a something. Pat, maybe a pat, a little tap. Oh. All right. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. All right. Let's 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 rock this. Let's lock this thing in. Go. Okay. All right. All right. Ready. So, uh, all right. Now, Brian, remember you have you have to as soon as the pat comes in. Right. You got to give us a little ex. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for the pat. I'll right? wait for the pat. All right. All right. And recording. So, uh, what's going on? I have the weirdest boner now. I mean, I, I feel like, listen, I'm not going to give you notes here. But like, I feel like that was maybe over the t- I feel like we maybe just need like, like, like a squeal. Like, I don't know. Rob, what do you think? Yeah, that, that you know, you're going a little, a uh, little over the top. I think that might cause alarm uh, in the, in the uh, TSA uh, booth. So you might want to just uh, ha- be a little more uncomfortable. <laughs> what I love is that the chat room is actually giving us real advice. They're like, they're like, Brian, you're at a 10. You need to be like at a two. You just, you just dial it back a bit. All right, come on. All right. I mean, you got to start slow. Just no, like all right. Justin no, that's a good point. Slow. All right, this time for real. This time for real. <clears throat> Take two. Mm-hmm. TSA grabs Brian's junk. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Let's do a second take on that. The door to the TARDIS opened. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, what's going on? Is that better? Uh, Rob, well, I mean, I, I, I would think maybe, maybe you have to uh, give me the exclamation on like the second pat. Like maybe you need to come in a little quicker, but I'll leave that up to Rob. Yeah, Brian, you, you would probably want to sigh like as he's kind of working the TARDIS <laughs> up the jeans. And then when he, when he taps it, that's when you want maybe to go up to a five or a six rather than a two. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. You want to get a little. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy Cox. Jimmy Cox. All right. Here we go. Uh, take, take four. Brian gets his grapes grabbed. Okay. Got it. So uh, what's going on? Disgust me. I did it out of order. That I, I was that was close. Was that good? I, what'd might, you say? I said you disgust me. That a little bit. I, I come on, listen. You just get your nuts tapped, and uh, you're just gonna give me a you disgust me like you're like you're from Downton Abbey, like you're <laughs> like you're so refined. <laughs> you're not gonna I, give I, me. You're not gonna give me a. I mean, like give me a give me a like. Uh, uh, Okay. Give me All right. something. You're getting, your, you're getting your grapefruits All right. punctured. All right. And I mean, the damn thing. Okay, no. All right. Hands. Fine. Fine. I'm ready. Go. Go. Are Let's and go. Go. Here we go. So, what's going on? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. My dander was in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Rob, better? I'll tell you, I feel like we're, we're getting, we're circling around, but I, I don't know. Can you maybe give Brian a uh, give give you Brian some? What notes. the hell is this bit? Time. Like Brian doesn't like. I feel like there's something you want me to do and I'm not doing. This is like this is like guess Justin's ending for a bit game. It's not me. It's well, Rob. Brian, Rob the director. Hey, Brian, you got to draw from your personal experience here, man. You've been through this, uh, you know, a hundred times. So 
You just this is on you, man. You got to draw from your experience and make it real. What he's saying is that you're fake right now. You're astroturf, baby. All right. You need a genuine article. You need to get your dander really in a twist. I feel like your dander is lying straight on a table right now. There's no twisting. You are you have your dander is in chocolate cup and a vanilla cup, maybe strawberry cup, Neapolitan. Uh uh-uh. uh. Sorry, no twist there. The frozen yogurt machine, you're pulling on the right hand and the left handle. That middle handle, untouched. All right. So Dan, for the, Dan is not in a twist. For the for the fourth time, we'll do the same bit. Let's go. I mean, I don't know. If, if we can get it done if you if you do it right. I, 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 look, uh, direction implies that you give a goddamn direction. Direction is not, eh, you know, I don't know, do it different. That's not direction. Brian, you're an actor, man. You no, gotta, like I'm said, not. Draw from your experience. I'm That's not. What you do, man. I'm not. You are in this circumstance. <laughs> okay, goddamn it. All right, here. You want you want you want me to draw an experience? Here we go. Done. Ready. Let's here we it. go. So uh, what's going on? The right of the people to be secure of their persons, houses, papers, and effects against the reasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause. Supported by oath or affirmation, particularly describing the place to be searched, and the persons or things to be seized. It's a yes for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Moving on. All right, close enough. Done and done. Let's make, uh, let's make a real sound effect, man. Well, here we go. Uh, Unicycle the sound says, of a bleached hassle with plenty of wind. <laughs> Mickey Mouse in a meat grinder. Unicycle wants to hear the sound of Jerry catching his face on fire. If only we had reference material to work from. I could do that. That's fine. Sound of one hand giving a finger to the ISP. To the ISP? What does that mean? Uh, the internet service provider, I guess. <laughs> I guess. It's the reverse of the TSA, the ISP. Yeah. Uh, a monkey making love to a football. Uh, are you are you suggesting these? or I thought you were picking I'm saying what us. came in. What came in on the wire here? All right. Well, what else you got? Well, we have the sound of a, of a terry pile hitting the ground. You want to try and do that one? The sound of a what? The terry pile hitting the ground. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. How would you how would you make a Terry pot hit the ground? Hot dog sex, Bill Meeks suggests. Rob Crackle, I, 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 you what it, Brian, you pick out what 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 strikes you. What you want to do? I'm not picking. It's Rob's bit. Go. You want to do a Terry pile hit the floor? You are just you are just just responsibility shuffler. Every day you're shuffling. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, dude, <laughs> Sockman says, "How about the song, sound of a lawsuit?" Uh, <laughs> Uh, dude, you pick. We got a menu. Rob, which one you want to do? We're going to make a sound effect live. Why don't you make the Terry pile? That sounds like a good Terry one. Keeping it the there theme. we go. So, Rob, uh, give us a, give us some direction. What What is the sound of something wet uh, and, and, and somewhat solid hitting the ground? Should we maybe should we, should we get some paper towels? This is going to be a combination of things, Justin. Uh, paper towel, wet paper towel would be a great place to start. Okay. And... Uh, Something maybe like uh, an apple or some other kind of fruit give you that okay. uh, weight. Uh, maybe some uh, some dirt just to to give the character <laughs> the ground if you got anything like that. Sand, okay. dirt, anything like that. And let's go from there. Try that. All right. You want to know what? I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get some some props. Uh, Brian, you help further figure out sure, maybe a sure, line sure, that sure. Terry's gonna say. You got it. Yeah. Now we should definitely set up some dialogue before this. I'm thinking like, uh, what happens shortly before we uh, <laughs> the the Terry pile is is released? Rob, you got you got dialogue to lead us into this. You see, you know, you're asking me about dialogue. I'm a sound effect. That's guy. not your. That's not your job. Okay, so that's I'll not my gig. dialogue. Okay, I'm gonna write uh, write a couple lines here. Uh, line one will be um, <laughs> will be I will play the role of a uh, young boy with polio, and uh, he will show up and say to Mother Teresa that uh, I have polio and I can't walk, and she'll be so so shocked that. A uh, terry pile will will then erupt. You, uh, you want to walk through with that real quick? Just you and me, just while we're waiting for Justin. Sure. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, I have polio. I can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
good practice round through. Good job. This is yeah. good. <laughs> I was going to say that's the other missing element is you got to have some flatulence in there. No, no. Should she have some dialogue? Should she say something? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> she doesn't have dialogue. She's just genuine shock face and just, she just lets go. Man. <laughs> what would you say if you were letting go your barrels in front of a, a child? Would you really have something to say? Well, see, in this in this, in this this fictional universe, I want to believe like she, she like this is a common occurrence and it doesn't even bother her. It bothers everyone around her, but she's the only one who's just blissfully ignorant of it and doesn't even care. Like maybe she goes uh, a different... Uh, a different direction you know like like she's like you know like well lay down on the table like she just continues like everything's fine okay uh after dropping the pile yeah yeah well like the pile drops but nobody acknowledges it right it's sort of a known thing in the, the way what do you have just Robert young you have an apple yes you have Bunch a of wet paper towels <laughs> wet paper towels all right good all right bowl oh. All right, we got some rudimentary dialogue, and uh, if you don't mind, Rob, we'll have your dialogue be. You'll have to stand in for an actor as as Mother Teresa, and uh, and just say just say like something nonchalant, just moving along. Like nobody acknowledges the Terry pile, right? And she's just all like, "Well, have a seat" or something like that, right? Fair all enough. Right. Before all we right, start, Justin, now- <coughs> there's there's one more element that's very important that we came up uh, while you were gone. Okay, uh, there needs to be some flatulence, mouth flatulence. You know, mouth farts. Mouth fart. I got you. I'm your man, baby. All so day. It's gonna be mouth, mouth fart and mouth then farts. pile in your face, impact. in your ears. I'm in it. Uh, do now, now, do I do I wrap the the apple in the the paper towels, or do I leave the paper towels in the base of here and drop that into it? <laughs> Probably. Uh, let's try that first. Dropping the apple into the wet paper towel. Into it. Right. Okay. Right. Good. 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 All right. Here we go. <clears throat> you ready? So it'll go, I'll say my line, you do your thing, Justin, and Rob will give dialogue to Mother Teresa. <clears throat> Hold on, wait. let me get this centered video-wise. <laughs> okay, good, good, got it. <laughs> you have a bowl and everything. All right, ready? <clears throat> oh, I have polio. Wait, oh, wait, so I go and then he <laughs> says something? Yes. yes, that's the unacknowledged Terry pile being generated. Like, okay, I didn't know whether she was going to start talking and then she was going to drop a Terry pile. In the no, 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 no. Okay, that's no, no, no. fine. Listen, we're working through it. All right, yes. By the way, that's it. Really? That's who has polio? What? Is the kid? <laughs> Sounds like a horse. Like you're, a, like you're, a, my little pony's got polio. My little polio. It's a little boy. That's my little boy voice. Okay, here we All go. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. I appear to have me the polio. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Go and sit on the table. <laughs> Do we have it? I think we got it. I think we came close to getting it. You want to try one more time? <laughs> You, yeah, man, people are saying you should have a little water in the bowl for the juicy sound. You want all right, a little, here, let me little more juice. <laughs> By the way, uh, it's very, very compelling. Tiny uh, Tim. Uh, uh, I mean, Mother Teresa. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> although, although, if you want to, uh, you know, compliment my Tiny Tim, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, that didn't sound right. Heck, news <laughs> you love from people. <laughs> okay, you ready? <clears throat> <clears throat> How right. was my mouth fart on that one, Rob? Good? It, w- it was nearly inaudible, but it was it was okay. Oh, it was good. It was uh, good uh, over here. I'll, right, I'll right. get it, I'll get it uh, bigger here. I'll, I'll... <laughs> bigger. Bigger's good, yeah. Bigger mouth fart. All right, ready? <clears throat> right? Face. Ready? Yeah. Hello, miss. I'm afraid I got the polio. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Go sit down at the table. <laughs> is that audible? <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. It was a bit extreme on the mouth part, but otherwise, they were saying, they were saying it totally worked. <laughs> Acting! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, people are suggesting that I drop the towels and then the apple, so it sounds like a multi-stage toot. Are we uh, doing that? Yeah, yeah, we, I, I, it like, let's time? real quick, just for safety. Let's do, we got to burn it fast, though. You ready? Okay, here we go. Hold on. This is going to be harder. And, and a little, it. little less on your mouth fart. That's that's the problem. It, it was it came on a bit harsh. Ready? <clears throat> was it too mouth farty? Yeah, it was. It was. It was just too much. Ready? 
Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yes, I have the polio. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, okay, well, go sit on the table and I'll take care of you in a minute. Did you just win the belt? <laughs> it sounded like you just won the belt, Rob. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, there we go. Quick. I'll tell you what. I would like to dedicate this episode of NSFW in the loving memory of Christopher Hitchens. May, may uh, <laughs> something other than God rest his soul. Um, all right. Look, do, do we have time to do one more sound effect or we got to wrap things up? Uh, I think we kind of have to wrap things up. I think we're I think we're at the end of things. All right. Wow. Wow. Uh, Rob, you got something you could, you can't even promote anything. Cause you're like, I'd like to promote my top secret project I, that I nobody's allowed this. to know about. I can promote what I'm wearing right now. What is the last that. of us? That's uh night dogs new game. Their second team is making that. What, what's the story with that? Uh, Maybe if you had a PS3 and actually played some console games, you might know a thing or two about. Well, Naughty I mean, Dog. I do know that that The Last of Us, of course, is the new zombie game that takes place in the city of Pittsburgh and looks amazing, as the trailer that was released a few months ago. Oh no, I did see that indicates, trailer. and that we've covered on Game On, which airs live at nine o'clock on Sundays. <laughs> on uh, no, the the trailer does look phenomenal on The Last of Us. That is, uh, did you work on that? No, sadly, I didn't get to work on it, but uh, maybe uh, when they're a little further along, I'll probably jump on the project. Uh, dude, it looks phenomenal, and I don't care. I don't care how played out people say the zombie genre is. If you do it well, it's going to be super engaging, and it really – I love what they're going for on The Last of Us. It looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's not going to be the traditional zombie game at all. This is uh... – Naughty Dog does their own thing with whatever they do, and uh, this is going to be way more character-focused. But not as character focused as say maybe uh, another zombie property television show that's been on recently. Uh, that's been a little boring. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were like doing a vague uh, promotion for The Walking Dead. I'm like, D- are you involved with that? And now uh, I no, guess you're just a no. frustrated fan from the fact I, that you said it got boring. Yeah, no, I love the comics. I was quasi satisfied with the first season, but uh, that's a different topic for no, yeah, well, I, no, I'm with you. I love the comics and I loved the first season. Uh, I'm not even going to equivocate on that. I loved the first season big time. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the second season, I'm willing to totally write off. Uh, I'm giving it a one-time lost pass. It's like I don't even care what happens from here on out because what it sounds like, it sounds like, uh, spoiler alert, they're doing the prison and the governor next season, which will be totally rad. Yeah. They might even skip the prison. At this point, uh, I would like for them to skip the prison and just get right to the governor. But, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm at the point where I'm now alienating fans of this show and all of our other properties because I am writing Walking Dead recaps and I am expressing my discontent with it. And I've gotten – for the first time ever, I've gotten people that I've known and really enjoyed talking to uh, getting, getting all up in my ears on Twitter being like, you just don't like the show. Stop ruining the fun. <laughs> So anyway, uh, but yeah, I don't know how this turned into a Walking Dead sucks argument, but it does. So deal with it, folks. Um, you, you can't. Uh, where can people follow you on Twitter, Robbie? Uh, you can follow me at Rob Crackle, all one word on Twitter. I'd love new followers. I uh, I'll tweet you back if you tweet me. Uh, like I said before, I'm on their way too much as it is. So yeah, hell's yeah, dude. I reply uh, to everyone. Um, Justin, you got something else to promote? Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you are in the Syracuse area, central New York, folks, I'm coming up back through Route 81 to the hill of my alma mater, and uh, I'm going to be doing a talk Saturday at 10. Follow me on Twitter, Justin R. Young, and you can get all the deets. But if you want to come out and see me do a talk about newspaper, boring newspaper stuff, then uh, then, then check it out. But I mean, I'm not like Brian. I don't get to, you know, uh, do meetups and stuff, uh, you know, all the time. So I always love seeing people, especially those in my uh, my my beloved Onondaga County. So check that out. Follow me, Justin R. Young. Yeah. Hey, uh, also, you guys have heard uh, Scam School Book. We published it. We sent it to the publisher. Um, <coughs> the game, uh, the, the game, the book in pre-production already won an award, best overall book on book.com. Uh, we're hoping that we'll make it on the front page of the iBook store. Uh, 314, Pi Day, March 14th. We're going to try to see if we can capture that sweet, sweet number one spot. It's it's way good. It's going to be 10 bucks, but we're going to launch it at only $5, $4.99, so that it'll be cheap for everyone to play along with. Uh, seriously, I'm way excited about this. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. Anything else, Justin? 
That's about it. Rob, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me, guys. See you next week. Die in a fire. Then to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSFW. I love you. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> it's the monkeys with my TV. <laughs> oh, they do have your TV, oh, don't they? <laughs> Notice that.